The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of James. Any one of you who is in trouble should pray. Anyone in good spirits should sing a psalm. Any one of you who is ill should send for the elders of the church, and they must anoint the sick person with oil in the name of the Lord and pray over him. The prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up again, and if he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. So confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another to be cured. The heartfelt prayer of someone upright works very powerfully. Elijah was a human being as frail as ourselves. He prayed earnestly for it not to rain, and no rain fell for three and a half years. Then he prayed again, and the sky gave rain and the earth gave crops. My brothers, if any of you strays away from the truth and another brings him back to it, he may be sure that anyone who can bring back a sinner from his erring ways will be saving his soul from death and covering over many a sin. And our response is taken from Psalm 141. Yahweh, I am calling. Hurry to me. Listen to my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be like incense in your presence, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Yahweh, mount a guard over my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. To you, Yahweh, I turn my eyes. In you, I take refuge. Do not leave me unprotected. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, people were bringing little children to Jesus for him to touch them. The disciples scolded them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. In truth, I tell you, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Then he embraced them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. The Gospel of the Lord.